Good morning crafters and welcome to Hunky Dory TV and a very happy Halloween. I'm going to take this off Sheila, I can't do it in that. There we go. <laughs> That's better. Morning everyone and happy Halloween to you all. I know we are a day early and we do apologise but we're here to have some fun. Uh, my name's Dan, I'll be your host for the hour and we have, uh, uh, to get, you, you met her, you've just met her, Emily. F finally, Yay! we've seen what she looks like. Isn't em apart from the fact that she's absolutely beautiful, Emily directed and uh, shot that whole VT herself and it, it seems like she ruined the warehouse that was sort of <laughs> absolutely everywhere. Uh, but it was brilliant. Well done, Emily. and Thank you very much for that. Um, I am not alone today, of course, people. Uh, to get today we have the wonderful Batwoman herself, Sheila Halliwell. Morning, Sheila. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila, your outfit is amazing. Thank you. It's, um, it's amazing what you can do with an old umbrella, isn't it? it genuinely. Well, it actually wasn't an old umbrella. It was a, a, a good umbrella and I cut it up and I destroyed it. And Yeah, but I'm hoping I can... You've recycled it I've in recycled some way. I've recycled it, yeah. So you've still got, I can see, but people at home probably can't. You've still got all the metal bits <laughs> well, hanging off the Yeah, because that gives me my bone structure in my wings so that I can put them down. But, you know, you just have to be very careful. Sheila, and I love your bat ears. <laughs> Did you make them as well or did you get them? Did you no, make them? No, I made them with a hairband and some corrugated card and a bit of... Um, and it, this is actually... I've covered them with the... They look like the leather. No, they're actually... Um, you know the bag that the umbrella goes in? You yes. Know you get in the cover. They're yeah. actually the cover. I cut the cover up and... It's got to be a devil to put back together though, isn't it? Sheila, just raining you outside. are so creative. <laughs> isn't that incredible, guys? Do you love Sheila's outfit? It's, it's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Uh, happy Halloween everyone, as we said, um, it's lovely to have you with us here today. We are going to have a fantastic show, oh, oh I know, uh, filled with both tricks and treats I do believe. <laughs> um, okay, so shall we take a look at what is coming up on the show? Here we go, we have some spookily good offers for you today, and they are spookily good. I'm really excited about this, it's a little bit different. Uh, then we're going to find out what is your spooky Halloween name. Oh, wow. That's quite interesting. I like that. Now, Jen has set that up for us, I do believe, isn't yeah. she, Emily? So I'm looking forward to that. We're going to have some scarily good demos mm -hmm. uh, from our friend Batwoman. And then we're going to look at the pumpkin challenge. Oh. That sounds quite exciting. It I does. Like that. And then it says at the end, trick or treat, question mark. I don't know what that is yet. I know. But I'm, I'm looking I'm forward to finding out. <laughs> Uh, okay, first thing we'll do, uh, we will run our Win It Weekly. Uh, last reminder, let's run that Win It Weekly. D 
Don't you just love goodies up for grabs? We've got a hundred pounds worth of goodies up for grabs here. Um, if you are, seems a bit, it's, uh, it's a bit sad at <laughs> the end of my hat, isn't it? It's, it's like it's, it's given up, it's Sheila. It's fine. There we go. There we go. Oh. Uh, adorable scoreboard mini. If you would like to be in with a chance of winning one of five of our adorable scoreboard minis, then all you need to do is like, share, and comment. What we want the answer to is this question. According to the Guinness World Records, what is the heaviest pumpkin ever grown? <gasps> Slightly larger than our little pumpkin here, I do believe. Um, <laughs> is it one, A, 1,190 kilograms? Is it B, 2,490 kilograms? Or is it C, 1,237 kilograms? Oh. Oh, very, very tricky. Yeah. Uh, three different answers there. Please do comment with the answer that you choose. Uh, later on in the show, I do believe about 40 minutes from now, we will be picking the winners. We'll say there's no more entries. <laughs> And we will pick the winners, and five people are going to win one of these today. Our little uh, friend Jen will put those graphics together very quickly, and five people are going to win one of these. Super little present. Great prize. <gasps> Great present. If yeah. you, one of the things I love about this, if you already have a scoreboard, yeah. it's a perfect Christmas present for someone, if you win Definitely. this, isn't it? Definitely. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so um, that's first. Let's take a look at what our spookily good offers are all about. So... What we like to do, um, often on Hunky Dory TV, you'll see that we have uh, deals on specific products. We mm -hmm. highlight a specific product uh, and then we'll, we'll do something special with the price or we'll put a giveaway with it or so on and so forth. Yeah. And I love that. I think that's brilliant. Yeah. Um, it, gives, it lets us focus on things. It lets us show you the goodies and, and, and what they're all about. Yeah. But I also love the idea of money off anything that you choose, yes. whatever you want to put in your basket. And that is what we are doing over Halloween this year. So our Spookily God Offers mean, means that you can save money with whatever you put in your basket on hunkydorycrafts.co.uk. Here we go. If you were to spend £25, you will save £5 using code SAVE5, which is essentially 20% off, isn't it? Yes. Isn't that brilliant? Fabulous. And it's very, very, very easy to spend £25 on the Hunky Dory website, oh, it is. isn't it? <laughs> yes. If you were to spend £40 on the Hunky Dory website, you save a tenner. <gasps> Ooh. That's good. That's 25% off. Yeah. That's very, very That's good. Fabulous. If you were to spend £70 on the Hunky Dory website, this is in one order, guys, it has to be in one order, then you save £20. So you get <gasps> 70 quid's worth of good goodies for 50 quid. Ooh. Very good. And if you were, hey, big spender, <laughs> if you spend, that's not Halloween, is it? No. That's some kind of musical. If you were to spend... Do we not have it? Well, we're not telling you. It's a secret. <laughs> if, I think we should tell you. If you were to spend £100 on the Hunky Dory website, it has to be in one order, you will save 30 quid. £30, pounds, which is 30% off. And it's off whatever you put in your basket. Wow. The only things that it doesn't work on are platinum, which yeah. is our subscription for our magazine, yeah. and I think Club Gift Bundle, I yes. think. But yeah. aside from that, it's anything whether it's got discounts or not already. Ooh. And I love that because it stacks. Of course it does, yeah. So if you, get, if you buy, let's say, two dies together that are normally $14.99 each and they go to $24.99, put something else in your basket, you'll still get money you off. You'll get money off. Yes, so good. even though the, it, it works on the multiplies and everything. Yeah. If you think about it, we've got buy one, get one free still going on on our little books. Yes. Awesome. Oh, trolley fabulous. dash. Some trolley dash products are still available. But I yeah. think quite a few have sold out. Uh, we hope you like these offers, guys. It means it, you can choose anything you like. It's completely up to you. But we do have a few things to show you, uh, to, to tempt you, uh, to show you what we have and see whether you <laughs> like them. Let me just move this out the way and I'll show you our first product. Okay, and then I do believe you're going to do a demonstration here, right? Sure. I, I think I am, yeah. Before I get into this, guys, what I'd like to know is, are you ready for Halloween? Um, have, you, uh, have you spun your cobwebs? Are your pumpkins <laughs> prepared? I know mine are. Are they? My pumpkins are very prepared, Sheila. <laughs> Always prepared. Um, are, you, are you ready for Halloween? Or are you not managing Halloween this year? Do let us know in the comments. Tell us what you're doing. Tell us if you're doing anything for Halloween. Tell us yeah. if you're not. We'd love to know. Uh, and we hope that you can enjoy having some fun with us. So, first thing we're going to show you is our popper topper pads. Now, these were, were launched only just recently. And if you want, they're £11.99 each, right? Yeah. So that's first thing. Yeah. I think they're £11.99 each. I, I think, think we've got so, that right. Yeah. So that's 48 quid's worth of goodies here, which is, which is incredible for a star. But then normally you get them on a multi-buy of £36. Yeah. Now, 
with your code SAVE5, because you've gone over 30 quid, you're not paying 36 pounds. What are you paying, Sheila? 31. 31 pounds for four of these. That is amazing. That's seven pounds 75 a pad, I think it is. Yeah. Um, so we have four pads here in our collection. There will be more pads coming in the future. We do promise you this. All of these pads are, are filled with toppers, uh, borders, sentiments, all foiled, all die cut, gorgeous different coloured foils in here as well. You get your golds, you get your silvers, you can get others as well. Um, but they are a longer theme. So this one that I'm showing you first is Playtime, which is perfect for kids or those young at heart. Uh, and there's a lovely, lovely range of different toppers in here. So now, cute. Now, Sheila, you're going to have a play with this, aren't you? I am, yes. I think I've, I don't know what I'm doing, but I think there's a challenge set for me, oh, so I have to... Oh, are we challenging today? Yeah. That's good. So you can see lovely artwork here, lovely different shapes as well. So it's filled with different shapes. And many of these of them with, um, with sort of these frames as well around them, which are really yes. useful when you're crafting, aren't they, Sheila? Yeah, definitely, definitely. So that's playtime, and I showed you a few. Uh, a, a few of those in there. I'm, I'm not going to show you all of them because, as, as you understand, we've got quite a lot to get through today. But there are 15 different designs in each of these pads, and you get three of each of them, all on 250 GSM. All your so your topper weight. It's all adorable, scorable as well. So it's going to match uh, your cardstock perfectly. Love this. Isn't this gorgeous? It's, it, they're they're all lovely in their own right. I think it's great to have all four of them because. Um, if you're a fan as well of doing tiny little cards or quick cards, these are these are perfect, great for beginners as well. We always say this is always something. Doesn't matter how experienced you are. There's always something um, that you can use as a beginner. It doesn't matter whether we bring dies out or stamps. There's always some way of using it if you're new, um, and I think these um, are perfect for that. Oh, they super. And Ooh. that one, there we go. Hide it. It's Halloween, obviously, you see. Ooh. It's a setup. I love that one with the koi car on. Gorgeous, it's isn't really it? Different, isn't really it? pretty. Yeah. Really pretty. Um, here we go. So th that was for that was Animal Magic. And this is the gentleman's pick. Yeah. So they don't have to be cards for gentlemen because other people like boats too. Yes, they do. Absolutely, yeah. Other people like beer other too. Pe yeah, we have a few people here in uh, females who like the beer. We do. <laughs> You're making you making us sound like boozy doozlers, no, no, Sheila. Every, every, boozy doozlers. You know, Natalie is quite open about it that she likes a beer. She does like a she beer. She does like a beer. And she has to be careful with, with the one she drinks because she just have gluten free beer, doesn't Absolutely. she? But she, she's found some, so that's always good. <laughs> so these they're just super. I love the shapes. I love the yeah. size. So we've done whopper topper pads, and if you guys have used whopper topper pads in the past, you know the quality of what you're getting here but you just get more artwork on a page here yeah. because the toppers aren't quite as large. We had people qu requesting toppers that were slightly smaller than Whopper toppers, so it perfectly fit uh, yeah, with, with the logic of what we wanted to do. Love the tractor. Love it. I do. Okay, I'll show you this last one, and then we're going to go over to Sheila for what I do believe is a challenge. Yes. Ladies' choice. This is nice. It's very nice, isn't it? Oh, that's pretty. I love it when a topper has just got half or like a part of an image on Yes. as well. It just makes it a bit more, I don't know, it's a bit more... Um, it leaves it up to the imagination yes, as well, Sheila. Yes, that's exactly what I was trying to say, but just not getting there. <laughs> oh, that, I think that's really I pretty. That it's so lovely. It's so lovely. And so is that. Yeah, definitely. And that one, I think last time we used these, I think when I did them on Create and Craft, actually, I combined that one with the Ballet Dancer, which is also in this, um, that one. <laughs> there we go. Because the colours are perfect. And I thought, you know, she will be dancing to orchestral music. We've got the violin there. So let's put them all in together. And, you know, there are a lot that you can just... Um, have fun with and mix and match as well from the different pads. Love the books. And as you can see, you get coordinating sentiments with all these sheets as well. So yeah. you're not you're not going to be searching for a sentiment. Um, you, you, obviously, we do still have our, our essential book of sentiments, but it's selling out fast. That's very pretty. It's beautiful. That artwork is just so oh, lovely. There we go. When we get to the end. Okay, so as you can see, guys, there are four pads in this collection. Use code SAVE5. You have to put your code in. You put it in, and as I think we all know these days, don't we? So yes. you, you get to your, your shopping basket, and there's a, a little sign that says um, add coupon or promo code. Yeah. You pop it in there, SAVE5, and it will work. Just always take a look at how much you've got in your basket. It's very, very easy with Hunky Dory goodies to get a quite high basket quite quickly. Make sure you <laughs> use the code that's going to give you the biggest saving. Because let's say you put £50 worth of goodies in your bag mm -hmm. and you typed in save five, you'll save a fiver. Yes. But you could type in save ten and save a tenner yes. because you've got over that 40 course, quid. Yeah, so make definitely. sure you do. Uh, okay, trick or treat. Let's go across to Sheila and find out. 
Okay, so I um, came in this morning and there was all kinds of things on the desk. There were, you know, Halloween themed, obviously. And then we've got um, a monster here. And the monster has got um, a door in his belly. Now, am I doing this right, Emily? Am I rooting around in here now to find a, something that's yeah. going to challenge me um, in a crafty way? So, so who, Where did the box come from? Because I love him. He appeared. Does he have a name? He appeared. Does he have a name? It's the hunky dorable monster. It's the hunky dorable monster. I like monster. that. Right, I'm going to have a root around in here and because we've got no reading, Sheila. I'm not reading. They're all folded up. I'm just going to have a rummage around, see what it says. Okay, we've got one here. So, let's see what it says. Oh, interesting. Create a four-sided project. Okay. Um, Create a four-sided four project. project. Okay, so. Well, if it's got four sides, first thing I'm going to need, scoreboard. Absolutely. So, now, you, you have, so you had no idea what was coming? No, I knew I had to use the pop-top pads, but I wasn't sure what I had to do with them. To do with it? So, so we've got... a four-sided um, project with the pop top with the, pads. Yeah, and I think um, we, we had a quick discussion when I got here, which was to try and use, if we could, one page from each of the pads. Oh. So it's even more challenging. Oh, just, just in case it wasn't challenging enough not knowing what you were doing when you came in, sat exactly, in the back costume. Exactly, exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay, and of course, I can't get my arms down anyway. My wings are, you know, <laughs> I've not, not woke up yet, so don't you normally have to have a while with your wings out like you this do. while I, you wake up? You are the wrong the... way up for being a bat, you know. You should yeah, be upside down. I should be upside down, ceiling. but yeah. In fact, she, can we get Sheila hanging <laughs> from the ceiling? No. Just, to, just to add a little element of difficulty to this. <laughs> Um, okay, so what I'm going to do Ooh, is, oh crazy. my goodness, all right. So if I start to have problems or there's a slight delay, I might have to just release my wings <laughs> while I craft. But I had to, uh, release your wings and fly <laughs> away! Yeah, uh, I actually tied them on with ribbon just in case um, there's a, a demo emergency. So let's um, just look at this. So you I'm have to fly thinking, to the rescue. Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> so what I think I'm going to do, I've got... Um, piece of A4 ink me, got it on the inch side of the board, so I think what I'm going to do is score it at 5 and score it at 10. Now bear in mind, I didn't know about this, so this could go absolutely terribly wrong. Hopefully it won't. So I'm scoring the second piece the same because we need four sides. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I'm thinking... Um, Let's have a little look at this. So I have scored there at, right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to also score at um, about two and a half. And if my calculations are right, we might be able to make this into kind of a, a box without a lid with four sides on. Oh. Um, but we'll see. We'll see as we go along. Um, Karen Brailsford says, be careful with those wings, Sheila. Be careful. <laughs> well, when I was putting it together yesterday, I really wanted to have the metal panels on the um, on the wings, like facing forward. Facing forward, yeah. But I felt that it was going to be a little bit more. It could have got quite dangerous because they are quite sharp. Once you've cut them from the umbrella-like stalk, um, it, you know, it could go terribly wrong. So, what we're going to do, I'm just cutting these now before I start to assemble it together. All right, what we'll do, and it, I don't know what's going to happen here. It could be absolutely terrible. It could be a disaster, but let's see. So, we're going to cut just like we would if we were making a box. Okay, so we'll chop these sections out here because we don't need those little panels there like that. Um, Ruth right. Ann says okay. we'd be here all week if someone gave me this challenge. <laughs> so if we put those together, um, obviously we'll be able to decorate the outsides. Then we'll put these together. Then we'll fold in the bottom. We'll actually have like a box that you could maybe stand something up in or just fill with, with ribbons or whatever. Or even fill it full of sweets and give it to someone. Right, so I'm just going to release my um, wrists for a minute just so that... Oh, that's better. I mean, I flew in this morning, so I'm feeling pretty exhausted as it is. Well, I'm not surprised. Um, you know, it, and it was raining, so the weight of the rain oh, and everything, and I was, I was in a, like, a you know, head-on wind, so it, it took a while longer than I 
anticipated. I'll tell you what, though, up. no traffic for you, wasn't there? No, it was straight, uh, straight uh, down that M6. Straight down, right? yeah. No you worries. Know, and you see those brake lights on. I'm just swoop straight up and over the top, man. There's, and of course, I can do it as a crow flies. So. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? <laughs> no, it's back crazy <laughs> Sheila Halliwell. Benefits all round. I might, I might try it more you often. <laughs> Oh dear me. Okay, so let's get a Love little it. bit of red tape on here. We will um, stick these two together just at one end for now, and then we know that we've um, we've got a four-sided um, panel to work on. And then what I'm going to do is just grab some of the toppers and see what we can come up with. Um, all right, so let's pop that onto there and that onto there. So we've got those stuck together. So you can now see, because of the way we scored it at the beginning, we've got nice, it's going to be quite big actually, but you'll see we've got the base and we can put the base down at the bottom and tape it all together. So we have got obviously four different uh, puck topper pads. So I think um, I've got some here. The, these are um, on my desk. This is before these were actually padded. So we've got them on the... Um, on the whole sheets here. So what I'm going to do... Oh, that's clever. Uh, and I'm going to go with this one, which is on, on the top straight away, which is from the gentleman's pick. And this is the one with all the sailing on. So what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of... show people that sheet, Sheila? Yeah, so, this so, is so how it comes. That, that's, that's Let me, how they which come way shall us? I do it, Emily? Straight on, there. Yeah. Okay, so this is how they um, come yeah. in from the printers. And then what we do is we actually... Um, get them cut down and then they go on the machines and they get foiled and they get die cut and then they get cut again so that they will then go into like a six by six pad or an eight by eight pad depending on the size of the pad. So um, so you get an idea of how they come in. You know, we get excited when they come in because we know they're in. Once they're in, we know that they're going on the machines and that we will have them in our um, grasp within probably an hour or two. Awesome, isn't it? And then we well, can start you get eight, with them. You get eight of those on a big sheet yeah. when they come in. Yeah, so they come it, in it's, on it's pallets, don't they? In thousands. It's, it's amazing how it works. But that just gives you an idea. And then they get put in the pad. Um, so it's a little bit of uh, background information for you there as to how things are made at Hunky Dory. We will do a little tour at some point, won't we, We should do, shouldn't you we? You and I could do a little tour. Yeah, and get the, show people the I mean, we've got fantastic machines out there. They are they um, German. German machines? from yes, they what they the, are Heidelberg machines Heidelberg. from Heidelberg. Yeah, in Germany. Oh, they are incredible. They are the they, sounds they're pretty and old, the smells aren't they? and they're, they're they're almost as old as me, Sheila. They are. Yeah. They're, um, and they're fantastic. Amazing. Yeah, so and you just stopped making them, I believe, in about 1980. Something really? Like that. So yes. there's not many of them in the country. No, are there? no, 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 no. We we I mean, we've I, got some, haven't we? I believe that we have the largest number of Heidelberg uh, platens in wow. the country, of anyone, of any company in the, the country, the I believe. Pretty, um, they're pretty amazing. Um, obviously, my um, my partner works on one of them, and and he keeps talking to me in, like, language that I don't understand. You know, I say, oh, we've, we've done it on ways today, and then and then we, we, take, we had to lift it, and then I'm like, what on earth are you talking about, man? So, yeah, so it's, um, it's very interesting. Um, it's, it's really, really interesting. I'd love to be able to, to work one. I oh, really, really would. I it's bet incredible. it's amazing to see how things actually um, come off there, you know. It's, it must be... Because they, they're quite um, they're quite picky, the guys out there, aren't they, at, at making sure they're not picky, they're efficient, and they you can see them sometimes holding them up like this. Absolutely. Um, making sure everything's even and, and lined up. So, but yeah, that's it's why, that's why we, the, the quality's there, definitely. Absolutely, yeah. So, right, what I'm going to do, grab some. We have, here it is, construction glue, some of my favourite. And we are going to, because I'm using the um, toppers here that are foiled with silver, I thought, let's put a little bit of silver on in the background. And that will also, if you're making this as a box for storage or something, it will make it a little bit tougher. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to pop all these little um, items onto here like this. We're going to layer them a bit. So let's just grab some of my pads and we'll layer them up. So I'm going to pop this one out of here because I want this one to go on a couple of layers so it's a bit higher. Susie um, Smith says, I would love a tour of Hunky Dory Towers. Absolutely. Um, and who was it? I think it was Barbara said, that's a great idea. Would love to look around Hunky Dork. 
<laughs> which is right. She put a K instead of a Y. <laughs> and then, and then Sh uh, Shelley said, I want a hunky dork. <laughs> it sounds fun, <laughs> doesn't it? I want a little hunky dork. They sound oh great. Goodness. You know what would be nice? Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be really nice? Once, um, once COVID has, has totally gone and left, left us alone, it, we could have launched. We could have a competition couldn't we, where we have like three winners or something. Oh, where they and they in. could come up, yeah. Um, you know, and they could have like a day here, so they could come. And then in they can come around yours, and you can cook them tea. Yeah, yeah. You can fly them back on the on I the back They wings. can get on. The, yeah, we'll bring the uh, Batmobile in. Yeah, we'll bring the Batmobile in. <laughs> but yeah, that would be nice, wouldn't it? You could have three three Sounds winners. Very good. Um, and then they could come in. They could have a loop around the factory. We could take them to Inspirations at the end for a for a shop. Um, and then, yeah, that'd be really good. They could come and sit with the creative team and do some making, wouldn't they? It would be a lot that'd of fun. That'd be really, really nice. Shelley says she has a hunk, but he isn't very dorky. That's oh, very strange, because okay. my wife, wife says she has a dork and he isn't very hunky. He isn't very hunky. <laughs> <laughs> very true. That's funny. That's very funny. Uh, we've got a question. So Karen says, how is Anne-Marie? Well, I was texting with Anne-Marie this weekend. Oh. Anne-Marie is very She's well. She's well, isn't she? And her daughter is adorable. Oh, we got, I got a couple of pictures adorable. sent. Yes, yeah, she's absolutely adorable. She's and Joseph adores her and loves her. Um, she's coming in at some point. I know that. She did say she was, but yeah. it just depends on, you know. It's tricky when you're, you're, a, you're a mother, you're at home, you've got everything to do, you know. It's, absolutely. Um, yeah, it's tricky, but she'll be in at some point. She'll, uh, she'll surprise us, I'm sure. Definitely. I'm looking forward to it. Definitely. That will be that We will miss be her nice very time. much, don't we? We do. It's just not the same, is it? It's... Um, it's just not the same. Right, okay, so what we've got now, I'm, now I'm starting to build this up. So we're going to just create, we've got different levels on here. Um, so I've got another one here to go on. So it's just a bit of a crazy project, this. But oh, no. the challenge was to make a four-sided project, so here we go. So well, now there I is a new challenge coming. You know our adorable scoreboard challenge. The, the, you know the one that I won, Sheila. Mm, um, that's yeah. uh, there's a <laughs> there's a new uh, there's a new challenge coming soon. I'm quite excited about it. Good. Emily hasn't told us what it is yet, but oh, I am course. excited. I believe you have it planned, yet, Emily. Yeah. She does. Right. It's very exciting. I love the way she plans these things and doesn't tell us anything about it until we get here, and then she goes, <laughs> right, you did, we're going to get you to do this. And you're like, what? Okay, so I'm going to cut another piece now because I'm going to alternate this. I want to do some um, gold on the next panel. So again, we're just cutting this just less. I think it's four and seven eighths of an inch. So what I'll do now, I will pop that on so we can start to speed up a bit. Now we've got some bits on there going. So this is going to be a really, really odd um, kind of construction. But you know what? You could do something like this. And you could put calendar tabs on it. So it could be on a desk. Um, you know, you could use it. Um, maybe you come to the end of one of your um, whopper topper pads or your popper topper pads and you think, you know what? I just want to keep those few toppers for me and do something with them. So you could do something like this. Put it on your desk, on your crafting desk. You could actually throw all your scraps in it. Um, so all your little off cuts, um, you know, you could do that. Hey right, Sheila. So. Yeah. Hey Sheila. What? What do you call a vampire who lives in a kitchen? Uh... Count Spatula. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word. Jeanette like says, that. she's got a joke for us. Why did the witch use the hoover and not the broomstick? Jeanette, we oh, don't know. No, do you know? No idea. Why did the witch use the hoover and not the broomstick? Jeanette, please tell us the answer. We want to hear it. Not that could be fine. Karen says she loves the spider's web on the screen. It is creepy, isn't it? Very. It was. I saw it before and I thought, well, oh my goodness. There's been some big spiders in, uh, in my house over the last month. Oh my goodness, I don't like them at all. My mum goes mad if she knows I've got rid of them. And she says, just put them outside. I'm like, no mum, they'll come back in. Well, they're meant to be really good for your house, aren't they? Because they, they, they get rid of yeah. like one of the good, in I mean, I'm sure they're all good and they're all God's creatures, but, but the, uh, yeah, they're meant to be, they're meant to help to keep you clear of other insects. Other insects. Yeah, my mum said, if you've got a spider in your house, you've got a clean house. Ah. Um, because yeah, they do, they do catch things in the webs, don't they? And then uh, eat the evidence. <laughs> and they don't come up the drain pipes, they don't come up and, and uh, up the plug hole. The only reason that they're ever in your sink is because they've fallen in, it's not because they've come out. Exactly, yeah, exactly. It's um Because yeah. I was always scared that they, things come out. I remember the first time I ever watched Jaws. Oh I yes. I needed, I couldn't go, I couldn't go to the loo. <laughs> and when I needed to go properly, I couldn't sit down. 
I was scared, <laughs> Sheila. I know. Da -da -da. There is that. <laughs> Horrible. Yeah, I don't like that. Well, yeah, there's a big spider in there. I shouted for help and uh, before I went to bed, my my, um, my partner got it and he put it in tissue and then I said, where are you taking it? He said, I'm going to put it down the toilet. I was like, don't put it down the toilet. It might come back up. He said, don't be ridiculous. I said, but it might do. He said, this spider will not come back up unless it's got scuba diving gear. Um, and he was right, it didn't come back up. But it, I'm, I'm terrified of them. I really don't like spiders at all. So... Um, but we have had them. I think I think spider season is over now, though, isn't it? Now we get to November. I don't I think... know, you know. Boris is still doing laps around our lounge. Oh, not... really? Yeah, he oh. does, does Boris. When he it just it... comes out and runs across the carpet. I don't the, know if carpet. he's the same, Boris, but he just does laps. Don't like it. I, I don't like it. I feel a bit sorry for him. It's like he's been stuck in there for years. You know, like a seal at a zoo. I, you shouldn't, it's yeah. not for laughing out that, but do you I know, know what I mean? It's... I don't like it when they, when they just come out and Still run across laps. the floor. Strange. Okay, so Jeanette said, so she said, why did the witch use the hoover and not the broomstick? Okay. Because the tree wouldn't let her. I don't know. I don't so, know so, so tell me that joke again. I don't get it. Why did the witch use the hoover and not the broomstick? Because the tree would not let her. Is it because the broomstick is made from a tree? Oh. It could be. It absolutely must could be. Could be. It I think so. Be. Yeah. Listen, it's better than mine. That's all I'm saying. It's better than, it's better than mine. <laughs> oh, my word. Okay, let's go on to playtime now. So let's get some of these dinosaurs on here. Um, now, we're going back to silver again. So we're going to do some of the dinosaurs. I'm quite enjoying myself here doing this. You're doing very well. I'm quite enjoying making something that is totally um, not what I would normally do and that I had no idea I had to make. So... Um, I get up. My glue has had a little bit of an explosion there, so but it's okay. Jane Kennedy says that she used to have a spider as well that did laps. Um, it was quite interesting. Lynn, Lynn said that she once held a tarantula to get over her fear of spiders, but it didn't work. Oh, I'm really? not 100% sure I'm in for all that, you know. I'm scared of flying. I tell you what, get on a plane. That'll sort it. I'm not sure that that's the right I way to do it. And then, and then what happened? I, I still am. No, no, I, I, uh, we got one as a pet at uni. You got one as a pet? What? You were scared of snakes and then got one as a pet? Are you for real? Yeah, and that's it. And, and then and it was okay. Yeah. Oh I'm, my. I'm not scared, scared of snakes at all. I like snakes, but spiders are a little bit tricky. I don't like spiders at all. Yeah, those who live in Australia are very, very brave because there's some big ones in Australia. There's some big there? ones. Yeah, it's, um, we went to... Um, Australia many years ago and um, we went into the rainforest um, oh my word and the trees there are just covered you know like we've done with the Halloween decorations where we just throw the cobwebs all over the like the, the cabinet well the trees are just like that and you have to be very careful because if you suddenly walk into a net uh, not a net a cobweb um, it can be very, very bad, mm. you know. So you, you had to be careful because some of those out, some of those spiders out there are hey, nasty. Sheila. Yes. Hey Sheila, <laughs> what do mummies listen to at Halloween? Rap music. <laughs> <laughs> well done, funny. Sharon Costello. That's no, that wasn't funny. Sharon. That it was Jenny Davies. Well done. Very That's good. That's funny. I, I like it. One. Why don't mummies take time off? Because they're afraid to unwind. <laughs> that's brilliant oh do you know what who needs britain's got talent uh, exactly eh? exactly we've got, got them all here on, on our doorstep <laughs> okay last little panel here and then we can stick it together and see um how crazy this looks and what we can throw in it i might actually keep it on my desk although we'll probably end up sending it out to someone won't we um we'll probably put it on offer Sheila, Wendy says, you can tell that you were a nursery nurse. Um, your umbrella <laughs> wings are a great idea. It is true, isn't it? It's, well, it's amazing. You know, I still have some pictures from when I was a nursery nurse of, I used to do, like, craft with, I used to do craft and music with um, all the children in the nursery. So even though I had my own, like, group of eight three-year-olds, we used to um, bring in um, the babies as well, or I'd go into the baby room. Um, let's do this one. Let's do animal magic. Let's have... Ooh, let's do the horses. Um, so, yeah, I used to go um, in and do music with them. So with the babies, 
what I used to do for crafting, I used to do like really mucky hand prints, you know, that they could take home, put the baby's hands in paint and then just put them down on a, on a sheet of card and they'd take it home for, for mum and dad. And um, But then we used to do music, so I had to make like uh, jingle bells to go on the babies because obviously oh, the babies yeah. put things in their mouth. Yes. So what I had to do was I got some like elastic um, and some ribbon panels and I actually put bells, stitch bells on and then I used to put them on their wrists and on their ankles when they were in the high chairs and set the music going and then oh, try and, and get them would, to like yeah, do, yeah, yeah. do like babies do, you know, and it was, uh, oh, yeah. Super. But yeah, I was responsible for all the craft. I did all the, I painted all the murals on the walls and the windows in there, and it's just what I've always done, and I just adore it. Well, you can tell you, nursery nurse would be a great. Don't get me wrong, craft is a brilliant job for you, and you are you are fantastic. But nurse, being a nursery nurse would be very good. I can understand why you would be. We spend a lot of time with Sheila, obviously uh, more time than people at home get to, and she's super caring. You know, as a person, I think it comes across on 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 Kadori TV anyway, doesn't it, Emily? Yeah, but yeah. I think I think Am you know, I? yeah, absolutely, very oh, much you're so. A fabulous person. Oh, stop it, stop it, you please are. don't do that. I do like looking after people and making sure everyone's all right, and you know, I do it's remember. It's important to in these times, isn't it, Sheila? <laughs> it is. You know what was what was funny once? My um, nephew came round, and he's he's married and everything now, and uh, got baby on the way, but he. When he was with a previous girlfriend, who was about seventeen, they came around to the to the house, and um, the younger nephews and nieces were like, "Auntie Sheila, can we do this? Can we do that?" And it was like a family party, not a birthday or something. And can we have this? Can we do that? Can we make one of these? And I was like, "Just a minute." I kept running upstairs to my craft room and getting bits, and then I come back down and say, like, "Oh, we need. Have we got some ribbon?" I was like, "I'll run up and get some ribbon." I'd run up and downstairs get some more things, and then my remember my uh, nephew's girlfriend so at the time. Have you got like a special cupboard upstairs where you just keep everything for every eventuality? Every occasion. And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, right, so we've now got our four panels on here. This is huge. Look at the size of it. So now all we need to do, stick it together with my red tape, which is there. I couldn't see it, but I'm sorry. This lasted longer than I anticipated. But we have done the challenge, I think. We will um, just stick the sides on. Sheila, Shelley yeah. is very easily pleased. She's just said, Mum just brought me in a Greg's pasty and the world is good again. Do you know what? Hey, I've, this is amazing, Greg's pasty. I do like a nice pasty. You know, it's you been know. a long time since I've had one. They are rather good, aren't they? They are. And do you know what? This is a really funny story about Greg's. My uh, younger sister, as you know, she's, um, she lives in California and has done for 30 years. So she's totally Americanised now. When she comes over to visit... We say, you know, what, what would you like to do while you're over? What should we do? She says, okay. And she's totally American. So she says, okay, first thing I want to do, I want to go to Greg's and I want to get uh, a sausage roll, cheese and onion pasty and a custard slice. So we're like, okay. So we, we went to... That was to, a very, very, very good accent. <laughs> yeah. We went to Chester. You know how beautiful Chester is. Oh, we did gorgeous. the cathedral. We walked around. We, we were like, right, where should we go for lunch? Let's go somewhere nice for lunch. We went down the street. We came across Greg's. And they had an area where you could sit in. She's like, oh my goodness, this is the best thing. Let's eat in Greg's. And I was like, really? She said, yeah. So anyway, we went in there and she went straight up to counter. Didn't wait for any of us. Went up, said to the lady, hi, I'd like um, um, a sausage roll, cheese and onion pasty and a custard slice. And the lady said, oh, okay, love. Where are you from? And she went, Wigan. <laughs> <laughs> Like that, and the lady looked at her and went, uh, really? Yeah, why are you walking around pretending to be American then? <laughs> yeah, but I've been in California for 30 years. <laughs> it's like, oh my goodness me, oh goodness me. There we go, our bottom is fixed in place. As you can see, we have four-sided box with um, popper toppers. Let me move all this stuff and then you can see it. Um, where do I need to put it, Emily, there? There, 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 there. there that go. way, there that way, go. move the glue, there we go. I've got a camera in my vision today, so there we go. But we've used the different toppers, so we've got some uh, something for children, something for a man, something for a lady, um, perfect. Do you and know again, what I'd use that for, Sheila? Cotton, you know, cotton wool? Cotton wool? You know cotton wool that you have in the, or, or Debs has, I don't know yes. what she does with it, but yeah. it does get used, yeah. this cotton wool. Cotton wool balls. And they go everywhere, oh, honestly, yeah. they're all over the place, yeah. but you put these cotton wool balls in that, it'd be perfect. And do you know what else you could use it for as well, which is really good, and I have one on my desk, it's a, it's a cloth one, but a bin, 
a few mm -hmm. little scraps. Oh yes. That's um, a good so idea. put a little like nappy bag in or something. You can throw all your bits in, just tie it up. And again, you could put anything in there, but it's just a Don't bit of a. Don't put nappies in it though. No, no, not nappies. No nappies. No. But it's a bit of a crazy challenge. You know, you could play a game. You could put like stuff in it and get people to pick it out blindfolded and things like that. So again, there we go. Um, a well crazy done. Box. Challenge number Ooh. one completed, Sheila. Very, very well done. Okay. Thank you. Let me remind you of everybody of our offers that are so good it must be witchcraft. Oh <laughs> gosh. Uh, okay, so instead of look at looking at specific products and saying here's a deal on those, we've said we are giving you deals off whatever you want to choose. You add it to your basket in Hunky Dory at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk and when you spend a certain amount, you can use a code and you can save. So what are we saving? Spookily good offers. First one, if you get £25 in your basket, use code SAVE5 and save a fiver. It'll reduce to 20 quid. That's good. Wow. It's not quite as good as the next one. If you spend £40, you spend £40. Use code SAVE10, you save a tenner. Ooh. So your 40 quid's worth of stuff becomes 30 quid's worth of stuff. Fabulous. I like it. I do. If you had to save seventy pounds, save seventy. If you were to spend seventy pounds worth of uh, worth of money at the website, save twenty pounds with code save twenty. And the big one, the mighty one, it's got to be in one order as well, guys. It's got to be in one order. There's very yes, few rules. Yes. Must be in one order. Of course. Because uh, we can't put the orders together. It's very very tricky. No. Must be in one order and can't be with the platinum uh, subscription or I believe uh, club gifts. But spookily good offers. Spend a hundred pounds, save thirty pounds with code save 30. That's 30% off and it's brilliant. Let's show you. Oh, let's take... Spooky names. Oh, let's oh, do spooky, spooky names. names. What a great idea. Yay. Yeah, were we meant to do this earlier? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Shall we work out what our spooky Halloween name is? So the way to do this, everybody, your f uh, Jennifer has done this for us, hasn't she? Has. She's a star. Yeah. So what we what you need to do is take the letter of first letter of your first name. So mine would be D, which would be rotten. <laughs> Thank you very much. And then I take the first letter of my last name, which is Newhouse, which would be N, which is candy. So so far yeah. we have rotten candy. And the month I was born, which was July, collector, rotten candy collector. That's good. That's, it's a good I name. Like it works, it. doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, so guys, that's how you do it at home. Emily, can we do yours? Yeah. So we have uh, E for Emily is noisy. Yeah. What's the middle one? What's the last name, sorry? Ralph. Ralph. So it's mummy. our mummy. Then Noisy mummy. January, I was born in January. Noisy mummy crafter. That's really? good, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's what a good one. Sheila, that's what are good. you? Let's see. Okay, uh, I am um, wicked. Uh, we know that, yes, that's true. Uh, monster for my last that's name. That's true as well. And uh, August. Wicked Monster Weaver? <laughs> Wicked Monster Weaver. All right. That's good. I love it. Isn't it really good? That's fun, isn't it? Guys, so you can go back and pause this and see what you're doing. Do us a favour, uh, get your name, work out what your name is, and we'll leave it up there for a couple more seconds. And then will you post your name in the comments so that we can see? Uh, we've got a couple here. We've got Wicked Unicorn of Horror is Shelley, <laughs> Shelley Alden. Uh, Karen Butler is the horrifying broomstick crafter. That's brilliant. Which is good. Uh, Tracy sounds scary, the lurking nightmare hunter. Oh my goodness. That sounds really scary. This is really good. It's fun, isn't it? What about Natalie? What would Natalie be? Natalie would be beastly, nightmare. Um, wait, it's wait. a birthday in April. Nice. Beastly Nightmare Dreamer. Beastly Nightmare Dreamer. So she's not sure whether she's dreaming she's or she's in she, a nightmare. No, she's not, no. <laughs> It's, Vicky is a chilling shadow finder, and um, Helen is a knocking potion crafter. <laughs> Dawn is a rotten potion collector. Isn't oh, it good? It's fun oh, that. Michelle's brilliant. Cheerful candy wizard. <laughs> Isn't that good? Oh, um, oh Carol's is brilliant. Vanishing cat stealer. <laughs> Isn't that great? Isn't That's that funny? fabulous? Um, well, a lot of fun. I like that a lot. Uh, okay, guys, so your spookily good offers, um, remember remember to use the code because you'll only get the money off and it'll discount in your basket. You'll see it there. You only get the money off if you use the code. So please, please do make sure that you do. And you can use it. Aside from the, the platinum and the um, uh, any uh, club members gifts, you can use it on anything on our website, which is brilliant. So yeah. one of the things that I know is that the... Have you got the Prism Craft Markers info? Yeah. Um, you know our, our Prism Craft Markers? Yes. So, I mean, I've got a pack here, but yes. our Prism Craft Markers, which you guys know and lots and lots of people use, they are fantastic. Um, they're, they're, they're normally £9.99 a pack. Yeah. Okay. There are 14 different packs. You get six in each, so that's 84 pens in total, which yes. is brilliant. Double-ended yeah. double pens as well. Yeah. 
Um, so, so that's a tenner a pack, that's 140 quid. Yeah. Okay. You can get them in a multi-buy that is normally, um, I don't know what the normal price is. Oh yes, that is normally 89.93. But with your code yeah. save twenty, it's sixty nine ninety three for eighty four pens, and you get the handbook in there as well. And you get the handbook, and it's much less than a pound a pen. Oh my god! Wow. So those are the sort of things. Get on the website, have a look, see what there is, yeah. and see what you'd like. Um, I'll show you something else very quickly. In fact, what I'll do, I'll do the um, win it weekly question because we're going to have to give you one last chance. Okay, you've got about five minutes left. If you want to be with the chance of winning our adorable scoreboard mini, and I'll just grab it again from down here. Sorry about that. Uh, if you want to be in with a chance of winning one of five of these, comes with the tool as well, yeah. which is an awesome tool. Do you know what? When we designed this, we uh, we also obviously designed the tool. Yes. Yeah? And we have extra tools manufactured yes. because uh, the logic is that if someone loses their tool or if tools wear out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you know how many extra tools we've sold? It's like a handful. Yeah, really? I've got yeah, I've got boxes of extra tools because I thought people would need really? them. Nobody needs extra tools. Do you know why? Because they don't wear out. No, they don't. I've worn one out. Have you managed to wear one out? That's a, but that's in like the space of three years. Wow. So and the amount that, of scoring that you do, yeah, because you score all our car I, stock I score instead everything. of the machines, don't you? I score you? all the time, and it was on, and it was nothing major. It was just tiny little bit of. It was just a little bit sharp on the edge. That's all, because I'd probably just got you know if I'm doing mirror car, I'm doing acetate. You do it two or three times rather than you know. I love scoring. I always have done construction. I use it probably a lot more than a, a lot of people would yeah. who are just doing cards. So yeah, but it's taken three years. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And that's why we've honestly we've sold a handful. Well, it's, it's all right. They'll, they'll, but, you know, but, but yet there are tens of thousands of scoreboards, scoreboards. Um, out there that, that people gone, are using yeah. day in, day out. Yeah. Uh, guys, it's a great piece of kit. If you want to be in, in with a chance of winning one of five of these, uh, here's what we need to know. What is the heaviest pumpkin ever grown? Is it A, 1,190 grams? Is it B, 2,490 grams? Or is it C, 1,237 grams? Uh, kilograms. They're all kilograms. It's one of those three. Um, this is your five minute warning if you want to be in with a chance of winning. Uh, okay, uh, another thing to show you, and I'll show you very quickly because we are running out of time here, believe it or not. I can't believe um, it. I'd just like to show you our decoupage uh, pads. Now these, uh, decoupage books even, these are absolutely brilliant. You get 72, 150 GSM pages in here that make, I believe, is it 48? They make 48, yes, they make 48 decoupage yeah. toppers in yeah. here yeah. and and you get it they're absolutely brilliant so you get the main topper but you also get the decoupage that you can fussy cut these aren't die cut guys so when you get them home they're not die cut they're for you to sit relax enjoy fussy cut um, and you can use as many layers or as few layers as you want yeah. now these three books there's manly moments there's precious poppies and there's perfect planet which is gorgeous isn't it it's Beautiful. lovely these three would normally be £28.77 as a bundle, so they're already discounted on that bundle. With code SAVE5, £23.77. <gasps> wow. Isn't that great? That's amazing. We don't have time to look at them anymore uh, because we'll need to jump onto our next thing and then straight into our next challenge, I do yes. believe. Yes, yes. Uh, I don't know what the next challenge is, but I just want to show you this. This is our Flourishing Florals Decolage. Uh, Emily's just playing with the camera. Zoom a little bit. There we go. Uh, flourishing Florals Decoupage. Um, this is the bundle. So, have we got the bundle? Oh, is it the bundle? No, it's just the uh, decolage. It's the decolage itself. So you can save five pounds on this. It's twenty four ninety nine instead of twenty nine ninety nine. But it's massive. You, I mean, you can see all the cards there that you can make. It's, it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. It's beautiful it as our really floral decolage. And it's perfect all year round, isn't it, Sheila? It is, definitely. We said this. It's You know, there's wedding in here. There's Easter. There's Christmas. Um, you know, you can glitter them up. You can do all kinds of things. These are... I think you get double value as well here, just because some of the layers will actually fit onto the base image that's on the cardstock. So again, you can, it means you can then use your what should be a base image as a big topper. So you've got lots of, again, lots of versatility with this. Great, isn't it? These are all foiled and die cut, guys. Um, all, all the decoupage is foiled and die cut. And you get two sheets of everything that we're showing you here. We're not gonna show you all of them because there's, there's quite a stash, to be honest. If yeah. I keep going like that, you can see. But these are the kind of offers that you can get where you, you are choosing what you put into your basket and as, as soon as you go over 25 quid, 
you're saving a fiver. Yeah. Okay, yeah. which is brilliant. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a I lovely love it. collection. It really is. And there's some, oh, um, lots of different artwork in here as well. You know, with like we've got really funky, quirky. We've got retro. We've got vintage. We've got what looks like watercolor. We've got more bold. Um, and that's fabulous, oh, isn't it? I love that one so much. I would put Different. that in a frame and put it up in my kitchen. Yes. You know, I really would. It's beautiful. And the accent foiling as well um, on those flowers and the buds and the petals, um, it's just lovely. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, are we ready for our next challenge? Uh, Emily, do we know what the next challenge is? She okay. will have to pick Let's it. Let's have a look then. Let That's me see, because there's quite a few in the bottom here. Let's swirl these around. Uh, give them a good, a bit like we do with um, raffle tickets. We'll grab one out of here. Let's see. Um, how many layers can you decoupage in 60 seconds? How many layers can you decoupage in 60 seconds? Yeah. I like that. Well, that works perfectly with the decoupage. Okay. It does. Okay. Let's have some. Um, I think I might have a go with you, Sheila. Will you? I'd love that to. That'd be fun. Or should Let's we have a little you, competition? Oh, you've got some, there are some pads down there on the desk. Yes, there are. We, so don't, have to, we don't have to cut out the decoupage, do we? No. Nope. Right, okay. Okay. So, do we need to do... Do we um, start with the base layer? Start with whatever you want. Do we need to do um, the have you same... Got, have you no, got I haven't got any. Do we need to do... Oh, we can do the same, Should we Sheila? do the same one? Will you, will you chop that in two? I will indeed. Yes. And Let's do the same one. And we'll do this one. So, the one that we're doing, guys, is Purple Petals Deco Large. It is indeed. Purple petals decolage. It is indeed. Um, we'll just chop that little Oh, bit this off. is not going to be easy. It is. So are we going to take... I've got some pads. I've got some pads. Okay. And um, To start. So there's um, a sheet for you, Daniel. A base Thank you, sheet. my darling. And can you pass me a layers sheet, please? No. Why? <laughs> You've got to come over here and get I it. I can. You need to Stop the clock. Your... Stop <laughs> it. No, we've been here before and this is definitely not happening again. <laughs> Okay, so do we need to t uh, take the base out of the sheet as well, or are we leaving it on the on the sheet? Use that as a base. So we just use the whole we base use sheet. That. Yeah, if you're not familiar with the decoupage, we have decoupage. Should I say, this is your base sheet, and you get two of these, um, and then you get two of the um, layering sheets that you with all the elements. Um, so yeah, so all we have to do, we're going to start building up on here now. When uh, Emily gives us the signal. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, have you got some pads there, Sheila? Yeah, there's pads here. Do you need some or have you got some? No, I've got, I've got some pads. Have you got any two mils? Yeah. I've only got one, one mil. Oh, yeah, see. there's two mils there. All I'm right. sure you'll be all right with... Uh, let me see if we've got more. No, okay, I'm winning. I'm winning now. Are you sure? We've got yeah. some big, uh, some square ones. Have a, have a sheet oh, in the have, square have square? as well. Okay, square. Do you good. need some scissors to chop some smaller ones? No. No, I don't. Right, why? Shall I said hide the tape guns. Hide the tape guns. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I'm going to be I all right. I hope you're not going to cheat again, because if you do, I'm going to be having <laughs> a word with you after a big word. I've not, I'm, I think I'm going to be all right. We'll, okay, we'll I'm, okay. Okay, so how, how long's on the clock? We've got 60 seconds. Have we got 60 seconds? Are you telling us when we go? Yeah, I'll count you, count you in. So three, two, one, go. Wow, okay, how are you doing, Sheila? Um, give me a chance. Have you started yet? Yeah. I've finished. Ta -da, there we go, all done. <laughs> Listen, you've got to make sure that these layers are secure, Mr. Newhouse. What? Yes, they've it's got all to... gone wrong, Sheila. It was going really well for a second. No, you've I've... got to make sure that the layers, it's got to be fine. Doesn't it, Emily? Yeah. It's got yeah, to not be good, collapsing. Has or... to look good. Okay, right. I am looking at putting my first layer on now. Have you got a layer on yet, Sheila? I've got two on. <gasps> you've got two yeah, on? Yeah, because I just do it as I go along. Oh, I she's very, do. very, very good. I'm a different... Uh, I have a different way of doing it to Okay, you. Sheila, I've got two on as well. I don't know if it's in the right place, but I've got two on. Okay. And we're going for the third. Sheila, how are you doing? I'm on four. Four? Yeah. You've got ten seconds. Ten seconds. Damn. Three. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, One. no. <laughs> Stand by your beds. Well, you see that one there? Hey, come on, come does, on. It's does, does, that one, does that top one count? No. Oh, it's, my it's, goodness. It's nearly on. If I, like, if I just remove that bit, no. I'll admit it's not stuck down. Then it's on. Right, let's count the layers then. Are you ready? Okay, so one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine layers. No, this is not right because there aren't even nine layers on the sheet. So get out of here right now, Mr. Biggest Cheater. Does, <laughs> does, does the bottom layer count as a layer? No. No, no. it's the layers above it. Four. <laughs> Five. Oh, hallelujah. Wow. And, and to prove it, there's the five that are out of there. <laughs> to, 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 pro to prove it, to prove it, to prove it, that's what happened to mine. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely need to spend a little bit more time crafting gently and, and <laughs> relaxing when you do it instead of getting in a big tizzy. <laughs> I'm sweating under here. Congratulations, <laughs> Tila, um, the winner as usual. Uh, very, very good. Right, right. Have oh we got? Are we going to Win It Weekly? Shall we? Shall we tell you about? Shall we tell you about Win It Weekly? Let's do Win It Weekly then. Uh, so, if you want to be with a chance, no, let's no, no. You, it's done. It's done. <laughs> Have we chosen the winners? Yes. Excellent. Oh. We're there. <laughs> Sorry, it's all falling apart slightly. <laughs> Uh, who, who could have thought it would fall apart when the set looks like this and we're dressed <laughs> up like this? I mean. Okay, guys, so let's find out who are the five winners. Oh, in fact, let's find out what the answer is first, shall Ooh, we? Yeah. Okay, so um, what we asked everybody was, according to the Guinness World Record book, what is the heaviest pumpkin ever grown? Was it A, 1,190, B, 2,490, or C, 1,237 kilograms? And Emily, the answer was? A. It was A, 1,190 oh, kilograms. Right. Now, lots and lots and lots of people put A, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did, yeah. So congratulations, first off, if you got it right. Uh, commiserations, if you're not one of the winners that's going to get picked in a minute, but don't worry, because there is a new Win It Weekly it launched every week on yep, Monday morning on Monday. at 10 o'clock. Not only that, we are going to be spinning the wheel afterwards. Okay. We would like to announce that the five winners of our adorable scoreboard mini are... Mayor Brown, congratulations to you. A congratulations to Karen Jenkin. A big congratulations to Dorothy Ford and to Jackie Durnham. And of course, congratulations to Kelly Gab. All five of you have Yay. won our brilliant, Fabulous. adorable scoreboard mini. Uh, please do contact us. You can either email studio at hunkydorycrafts.co.uk or you can get in touch on Facebook. Please don't write your address at the bottom of here. Tell us that you're one of the winners, it'll get verified, and then our team will send this out to you, and they can go out today for you. Yes. Our packing team are doing a sterling job, guys. We are sending out orders at the moment. Um, half of the orders that we take in a day are going out the same day, yeah, yeah. which is brilliant. And yeah. the rest of the orders are going out the day after, or on, on the second day, or the day after, if, if there's any reasons why, they don't, why they've not already gone. They're doing really, really well. So orders are going out quickly, which is something that you want to know uh, because yeah. if you are buying or spending money in our uh, super spookily good offers uh, where you can save anything from £5 up to £30, yes. Sheila. Love that. Um, okay, what's next? Oh, well. We've got another, another challenge. Another challenge. Should oh we go straight into another challenge? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's Why have, not? Let's have a rummage around in the box and see. Let's see. Oh, I'm not sure about this. This is not really a challenge. What is it? This is, admit that Dan won the box challenge fair and square. <laughs> I might have sneaked that one in there. That's, that's not a challenge. That's a, that's a downright lie. <laughs> it's trick or treat. It's trick or treat. Um, what did I, what did, oh my goodness. I, I'll have to come back to you on Are you going to come back to that one? <laughs> Unbelievable. Do you know what? You never get credit we, where it's we could say, it we could say, We could say, yeah, I suppose. Woo! Um, we could say, I didn't. We could, <laughs> we could, we could say, yes, say but I'm yeah, not doing. but you definitely didn't win that one we've just done. No, yeah, I just got, I was, was blown away that there. That was absolutely terrible. Five layers to four. That was a terrible, event. and lying to everyone saying you put nine on, <laughs> and there aren't even nine invented for that. Anyway. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so where are we up to? Uh, have we got? Have we, are we doing another challenge? We'll have a look at the stamping press. Can we have a quick look at the stamping press? Okay, Ooh, let's do that. Yeah. Um, let's do that. Here we go, peoples. Our stamping press is in stock. This is the Premier Craft Tools stamping press. It is, in my opinion, uh, and this is only my opinion, but it is also the opinion of many people who have purchased yeah. this product. 
uh, and indeed our demonstrators here, and the people who, who selected and designed and selected this product. Yeah. Uh, the Hunky Dory stamping press, the premier stamping press that is available, uh, it does not have a hinge on it, so it doesn't come in from the side, which gives you a squelchy, a squelchy stamp on one side and a lighter stamp on the other. It yeah. goes straight down using magnets. It's very, very clever. Um, so it gets pressed straight down and goes up and down perfectly, which means that every time you take it off, re-ink, put yeah. it back on, same place every time. It's yeah. lovely. Normally £29.99, but because it's over that 25 quid threshold, you use code SAVE5 and you're going to get it for 24 99 Now is the time to get your stamping press if you do not already have one. Uh, okay, you love it, Sheila. What do you like about it? I love it. it. Um, I just love it. Like you've said, Dan, it's really easy to use. I like the way that it's got the grid markings on there as well, and there's markings in centimetres and inches on the base. So you've got the nice edges where you can line up your cardstock or whatever you're stamping onto. The um, really amazing thing about it as well at the moment is that we now sell the magnets separately so if you want extra magnets to hold maybe your um card that you're stamping onto we now sell those to or if you've lost a magnet or you know um you can't find them or you use them for something else we we actually sell those separately as well now so uh, that's another bonus for that stamping press it's brilliant is it tracy williams says that her mum has got her a stamping press for christmas oh wow you lucky little thing i know it's good that isn't it isn't it yeah. super um okay so uh, what's next can we do our, it says here, pumpkin challenge. Number yeah, five, yeah. can we do the pumpkin challenge? Okay, I, I've got something to tell you and you're really, really going to like this. Sheila, will yes. you show people your pumpkin? If I can say that with a straight face. Yes. Will you show people your pumpkin? Yeah. Okay, so that is Sheila's pumpkin that she's been supplied by our friend Emily. It's a nice pumpkin. It it's is a good a nice pumpkin. pumpkin, yeah. It's a nice size. It's, it's a good, good weight. Size. It's not yeah, oversized. It's, it's, it's just a proper right. pumpkin. Okay. Yeah, it's lovely. Emily went shopping for pumpkins. When Emily went shopping for pumpkins, yeah. there was only one. She went to four supermarkets. Okay, really? four leading supermarkets. Yeah. And there was only one of them that had pumpkins. And that oh. shop only had one pumpkin oh my goodness okay Sheila you have that pumpkin really yes oh my word so because Emily couldn't buy two pumpkins and she wanted us both to do a challenge she bought a watermelon <laughs> she bought a watermelon right and I don't know if you can see what's at the corner of my screen here you wouldn't believe it this is actually a watermelon right oh my word you wouldn't think it would you it's, you can see there's some telltale green inside. There, there was only, she could only get hold of one. So this is actually a watermelon. And then she turned it into a pumpkin. That, and it looks amazing. That is amazing. She, yeah, oh my word. I know she said it was a fake pumpkin, but I thought it was like um, just a ball or a no. plastic one. I didn't realize it was a watermelon. She sent there. me a message yesterday and said, which is the which is the fake pumpkin? Really? And I thought that was the fake pumpkin, and this was the <laughs> yeah, real one. Yeah, because that's round, isn't it? This is more square. Isn't it's, it brilliant? it's incredible. <laughs> and afterwards, we can eat it. It's exactly. fantastic. Imagine carving it though; you'll get an oh, arm you, you it. Would, oh, you, you would, you would. Your arms and everywhere. <laughs> but I think I think that's brilliant. That is so inventive. Do you want to do a close one? I love that. I it's think she's, she's done such nice a good one, job. Nice one, Emily. Well done, Em. You are an absolute star here. She really is. Um, thank you so much. Okay, so what is this challenge that we're doing with this pumpkin? Well, I thought it would be funny if you would draw each other onto the pumpkin. Draw each other? <laughs> yeah. So you turn Sheila into a pumpkin and Sheila will turn you into a pumpkin. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. How to lose friends quite quickly. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have a go. So is that what the sharpies are for? Yeah. Oh my word. Right. So okay. we draw, so this uh, we, we can draw we can we can watch. It's not blindfold or anything like that. Yeah. It's just draw. Yeah. Right, guys. Listen, we've been stitched here because <laughs> because Emily said before that she was gonna do this pumpkin challenge, and she said what we're gonna do is is blindfold. You'll have to draw a scary face, right? Right. Now I'll admit to it. I was I was in my office earlier on this morning with my eyes closed, drawing faces on oh, things like that, trying to test. You, right? you are a classic cheat in a most professional manner. <laughs> it's, it's true. <laughs> it's true, right? And now we've been stitched. Now we've been stitched. Oh my word! Okay, this is quite exciting. This is it is exciting. It's a bit it's a bit scary though because it's does fun. it have to be comical or does it have to be? 
Well, it's going to be comical, well, it's isn't it? Not, yeah, I'm, let's it. face it, I'm not an artist. So, um, okay, right. So, it, it, there's no time limit or anything? Or? No, no. No, okay. okay so, we have so. to draw. <laughs> Hello, you. <laughs> Are you... <laughs> <laughs> just, draw, just draw a bald head. Well, I don't need work, I've got, like, This is like a bald head anyway, so. Okay, right. All okay. right, let's. Um, so, first. It's difficult because we need to look at each other. First thing I'm doing here, yeah, is there's no doubt about it. There's hair, there's hair involved, isn't there, if you see that? There is hair involved, right? So, I'm going to get some hair coming down this side as well. Yeah, so it's looking good. So, but I want bat wing, bat ears at the top. So we're going to have a couple of bat ears. How's that? Yeah, that's looking like Sheila, isn't it? That looks quite like Sheila. Crazy. There's lots of hair, isn't there? Gosh, yeah, I've got, lot, I've got lots got. of hair. I have got lots got of hair. Much hair. Okay, right. Oh, there's a fringe. There is a fringe. Oh, there's yes. A fringe. a fringe is the most important part of my hair. Oh, do you love the fringe? <laughs> I love having a fringe. I always have done. Right, I'm giving you, because I think it's funny, I'm giving you like a, a fringe with a parting in the middle, so just there. That's fine, that's fine. Just there, I'm not going to fill that middle bit and I'm going to, I'm going to, and I'll just do the, uh, should I do some split ends? Come on, it's, ha it's Halloween, it's yeah, Halloween. Yeah, get them in, yeah. Let's put some split ends in. There we go, that looks good. There's, Sheila's got quite a wide head here, hasn't she? Have you noticed? It's a bit, she's a bit boxy. <laughs> Poor Sheila. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll put a little bit. How are you doing over there, Sheila? Uh, I'm doing all right. Oh, you're not it's, for showing though, are you? I'm not, no, I'm just concentrating. Oh, I'm showing. Okay, it's all right. right. So They'll want, get to see it. I want glasses, but I'm going to give a Dame Edna Everage glasses. Thanks. Yeah? Thanks. Okay. Marvellous. There we go. Dame Edna Ed Everage, eat your heart out. There we go. How's that? Yeah? That's all right. That, I like that hair. Did you like the yeah, hair? Yeah, I like the hair. It's very spirally. You're, uh, they're, they're, I'm doing your stubble at the minute, and this you actually look like a criminal. <laughs> Like an escaped convict. Okay. With lipstick on. <laughs> right, I'm putting, you've got, you've got some, you've overdone the eyeshadow here, Sheila. That's what uh. I'm saying. Here we go. So, there we go. How's that? Bit of that. This actually looks like George Michael. Like George Michael. Hey, I'd take it. But not in a good way. But no. no. Oh, oh, my she, word. That's a bad nose Sheila's got there. <laughs> that's a Bad nose. Wait till you see this. This, Sheila, I won't, I won't lie to you. This is, this is like a photograph. This is, this is, this is photo quality. <laughs> Who needs iPhones when you've got, you've just got me with a watermelon. I mean, what else? <laughs> Let's have a big. I don't think I can show you this because you. <laughs> 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 You've lost some weight on that neck, Sheila. That's a bit skinny, that, isn't it? That is really bad. It's not bad. Right, I'm going to give you some laughter lines. <coughs> oh, I've got plenty of those. Except, except the, the laughter lines have started to look a bit like a moustache. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a, I'll, I'll join that up and give you a moustache, Sheila. This is, you know what? This is not great because you've got, like, blondish, gingery stubble hair and eyebrows, and I've got a black pen here, so... <laughs> Right, okay, uh, I think I'm done. Are you done? I'll I think just be I'm a couple done. of minutes. There, there you go, everybody. <laughs> Sheila Halliwell, oh but I'll sign it, God. I'll sign it. We don't, we're not giving it, we're not selling it, I'm giving I'll it. Signed it. <laughs> there we go, what do you think? Why did she call Mustang? <laughs> because, why? because she said I didn't win the scoreboard challenge. Yeah, but I mean, So she, <laughs> she grew one. Right, let me just look well, at why your... she got a moustache? Because she hasn't shaved today, that's why. Don't let me just look at your eyes for a minute, please. <laughs> look into the eyes, not around the eyes. You are going to be are you gazing mortified. Into my... <laughs> you are going to be so mortified. I'm going to give you a nose ring. I'm giving her a nose ring. <laughs> yeah, Emily, you're going to love this. I'm giving her a nose ring. There you go. <laughs> Sheila's nose ring is on that side. Can you see? There. And she's having a beauty spot, but it's quite a big one. Oh! It's, like, it's like a third eye. Yeah, it's like a third eye. There we go. It's the smile. <laughs> it's a good smile. Except she's got, too many, she's got too many teeth that look too good, so I'm just going to take that one out there. Yeah, because she's not been... Oh, you're so she's, not, she's, she's, she's not been flossing, everyone. 
Oh, my God. Tommy Lee. Laughing. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Hey, she's a beauty, eh? Isn't she? Look at that. <laughs> Look at hell. You could use this as your passport, Sheila Halliwell. What okay, I think lady. it's time we revealed uh, you now. <laughs> Go on then, let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> it's George Pumpkin. It is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, Sheila, I love that. I love that. Oh, no more, please. Can I take it is. home and ask the kids Yeah, because you can, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey. Oh, my goodness. Swap pumpkins. Swap, oh, dear me. pumpkins. I'll put one over there like that. There we this go. This is just like, what is this? <laughs> it's pretty good. I, I prefer this head. Did I you think. see I gave you some hair on top I, as well? You, you, <laughs> You were very kind, Sheila. You were very kind. Uh, okay, guys, all there is left to do today. I hope you've had fun with this. We've certainly had a lot of fun. Oh, my word, my word. All there is left to do is to spin the wheel. Yay. Is that right? Okay. Now, the plan was that we were going to have our new wheel ready, but in true Hunky Dory Halloween style, Emily went to right the wheel yes. and realised that, or realised, it's not the first time she's realised, but she realised that she's left handed and everything she wrote, she smudged. So oh she's, really? Yeah, the poor oh. thing. So um, she's going to get she's going to get Natalie to write the wheel. So we'll have a new okay. wheel next week, not this week. Okay, let's spin that wheel. Oh, there we go. Hello, everybody. Okay, <laughs> it's time to spin the wheel, uh, and then we're going to let you go and get on with your wonderful day. Okay. What do we do? We spin the wheel, uh, we give it a good spin, and there are a number of different prizes on here, and this now is the last time you're gonna see these prizes, they will change. Uh, Emily, am I right in saying that you are gonna keep the 50 quid voucher and the 20 quid voucher on there for the next one? Because yeah, all the vouchers. All the vouchers will stay. Prize rollover. Prize rollover. Uh, if you, let, we need to take a look at that prize rollover after this, actually, and yeah. see where it's got up to, because it might be getting to the point where we've gotta give it away and win it weekly, because it's, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, okay, I'm going to spin, and you guys are going to comment. You can comment absolutely anything. Uh, have you enjoyed the show today? Have you had fun? Um, uh, do you, whose pumpkin do you like the best? That's what I'd like to know. Just put Dan's or oh, Sheila's. Oh, dear me. Should, should know, which pumpkin looked more like the person? Did Dan's, did my pumpkin look more? So was it Dan's, which she did? So. Or was it <laughs> Sheila, looked more like Sheila? You tell me. Sheila, Sheila, vote Sheila. Oh, dear. Okay, and Emily is going to pick somebody at the end of this, oh, uh, at the end goodness. of 60 seconds, and that person is going to win whatever we spin now. Let's spin. Where is it going to land? Please say prize roll over. It's the Christmas Blockbuster. Oh, good That's price. That's a whole Christmas Blockbuster. Good we price. are out of the magazine, but I know I have one in my office. Ooh. So I will I will donate my Christmas Blockbuster magazine uh, to who, whoever is the winner here. If you want to be in, in with the chance of winning that Christmas Blockbuster, just vote now. Tell us, is it the Sheila pumpkin that looks more like Sheila, or is <coughs> it the Dan pumpkin that looks more like Dan? Please do tell us. Uh, Sheila, while yes. we are waiting for people to comment, shall we take a look? We're going to add a product to the rollover box. Ooh. The Twilight Safari nice. Acetate Easel Card. Oh, these are lovely. This is being added to the rollover box, which is, uh, I love the, the, the lion in this. I don't know if you can see, if I'll try and get it as close up as we can. But the lion, um, the lion in there, it's so Lion King, isn't it? It's amazing. It's so Mufasa. It's more yeah. Mufasa than Mufasa. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've been to see The Lion King, you know. Have oh, you? Yeah, we've booked in to go and see The Lion King. We've been booked in, but we've had to, it's been cancelled yes, and then cancelled yeah. again. Uh, but it's really good. We're taking mum. Oh, She's never seen oh, it. Oh, she'll oh, love it that brilliant, much. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, okay, so Twilight Safari Estate Easel Card has gone into the rollover box. TV schedule. Mm -hmm. This morning, Natalie was on television, wasn't she? She was, just as we came into here. She was busy demoing, I think. Yeah. She was. Yeah. Uh, today at 3.45pm with Natalie and our fantastic Eastern Wishes collection, you can catch her on Create and Craft Television, which you can either watch through the internet or through your box at home, uh, through your TV. Uh, it is Sky 683, Freeview 95, Virgin 748 or Freesat 816. In case you miss it, catch all new Eastern Wishes on Saturday at 12. 
and again at 7.30 on Sunday with the lovely Pauline Wheeler. Our next Facebook Live show is Monday the 2nd of November with The Craft Show. Yes. And I believe, who is it on The Craft Show on Monday? It's me and... I no, think it's, I, is it not myself and Natalie? Um, it, oh, it might be you and Natalie, is it? Um... I Monday, do you know what? Something's happening on Monday. Emily is being rude enough to take a day off on leave. That's so, right. is it Monday? So, yeah, it's Monday. I'm producing the show. Nice. Yeah, you and Natalie. And Sheila and Natalie yeah. will be presenting the show, so anything could happen. Make sure you're with us. 10 a.m. Yep. on tune Monday in. morning. Tune do tune in. in. Uh, okay, so who is it, Emily, who has won the uh, Christmas block, Blockbuster? Shall we see? I'll move this here. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> I can't get my under on that. Oh, we have a Halloween, a spooky Halloween winner. And the spooky <laughs> Halloween winner is Lorna Owens. Congratulations. Oh, well done. Lorna's won. Well done, Lorna. Um, if you can contact our studio on kidorycrafts.co.uk by email or send us through Facebook. Don't put your uh, address in the comments, please. Um, everyone wish Lorna congratulations there I'm sure you Definitely. will um, please do let us know your address and we can send it out today for you which yeah. is brilliant okay can we go and take a look at the lady the bat girl who is just getting ready I am I'm warming up for my flight home warming up for a <laughs> it's, flight it's home it's a bit of a trek to Wigan but it, you know we can do it we can do it it'll be oh. fine Sheila you're a thing of beauty you really are <laughs> I mean on the pumpkin yeah yeah thanks um, <laughs> Have a lovely weekend, everyone. Enjoy Halloween, whatever you're doing. And thank you for spending an hour with us. It's been our pleasure to be with you. Uh, Emily, say bye. Goodbye. And bye, everyone. Take bye -bye. care. Happy Halloween.